Hello, and this is Scarlet's Mommy, and I've got a fantastic little book that I was able to find at Sam's Club. And it is gorgeous. It's $14.98 at Sam's Club. Um, it is called The Charlie Brown Christmas, and it is just so pretty. Wait till you see it. Now, I don't know for how long this book's going to go, so if it lasts a while, then I'll have to just do it in chapters. Christmas time was here, the time when snowflakes fell softly and the sounds of carols rang through the air. It was the time filled with happiness and for children everywhere. It was their favorite time of year. But one little boy wasn't feeling very excited about Christmas. I just don't understand Christmas, Charlie Brown said as a light sh snow began to fall. I might be getting presents, sending Christmas cards and decorating trees, but I'm still not happy. I always end up feeling depressed. You're the only person I know who can take a wonderful season like Christmas and turn it into a problem, Linus replied. Lucy's right. Of all the Charlie Browns in the world, you're the Charlie Browniest. At the local skating pond, the boys found their friends playing a round of Crack the Whip. Snoopy grabbed Linus's blanket to drag him onto the ice. Buddy caught Charlie Brown in it and sent him flying into a snowbank. Good grief. Charlie Brown wasn't surprised. Things like that always happened to him. And the holiday season, when he didn't get cards and even his own dog ignored him, only made it more obvious he needed someone to talk to. Lucy dashed over to her psychiatry booth to meet Charlie Brown. May I help you? she asked. I'm in sad shape, Charlie Brown said. With a sigh, my trouble is Christmas. I just don't understand it. Instead of feeling happy, I sort of feel let down. Lucy knew just how to fix Charlie Brown's problem. You need to get involved in a Christmas project, she declared. How would you like to be the director of our Christmas play? Me? But I don't know anything about directing a Christmas play, Charlie Brown fretted. Don't worry, I'll be here to help you, Lucy said. I'll meet you at the auditorium. Just then, Snoopy walked past, carrying a box filled with decorations. And Charlie Brown followed Snoopy back to his doghouse. What's going on here, Charlie Brown asked. Snoopy handed him a flyer. And Charlie Brown read, Find the true meaning of Christmas. Win money, money, money at the spectacular super colossal lights and display contest. Oh no, my own dog has gone commercial. I can't stand it, Charlie Brown threw the flyer onto the floor. On the ground. On his way to the auditorium, he ran into his sister Sally. I've been looking for you, big brother, she said sweetly. Sally knew exactly what she wanted. But her list was so long, she decided it would be easier to ask for money. How about tens and twenties, she suggested. Tens and twenties? Oh, even my baby sister, Charlie Brown, groaned. Will you please write a letter to Santa Claus for me? You write it, and I'll tell you what I want to say. I have been extra good this year. <laughs> Charlie Brown groaned. Surely Christmas was about more than money and presents. Okay, this is the first part of this, and it's going to be in different parts. So coming up will be the second part.